Hi everyone. In the Super Excel session, I'm going to talk about one of the most fascinating tricks about Power Query. Now, Power Query is an add-in which is available for downloading free, free of cost from the Microsoft website. So if you just Google across download Power Query, you'll be given options which Excel version and which 64-bit uh, or 32-bit. Now, once you download that, what can it do? Well, amongst many other things, I will teach you one trick which I have personally felt people can really save time on. For example, I talk about this company, there are approximately 50 employees, in fact, exactly 50 employees belonging to different divisions. They are located in different offices. Now, they have been mapped with specific skill sets. So, for example, Abdul Salam Ismail, he is in Bombay office and if I consider his programming skills, it is at intermediate level, strategy intermediate, finance and accounting intermediate, communication is an expert, very good in communication and legal also at intermediate level, quite experienced employee. Now, if I have to build a team, let's say uh, from the northern region of India. Now, northern region of India may comprise of uh, cities which include Lucknow and uh, New Delhi. Now, they are the closest to the northern region. Now, if I have to pick up team based on their skill sets and the division and the city, all this cannot be done unless you are able to create this 90 degree data format into columnar format. Now, what is columnar format? Well, I'll show the example for Abdul Salam Ismail. Abdul Salam Ismail, one line per detail skill set. So, for example, there are four, five instances of Abdul Salam Ismail. The first few columns are same because the information doesn't change. What changes is the attribute, the skill set and the value attached to it. Now, if you have this columnar data format, you can easily build a pivot table. Now, question is, how do you do that? I've personally seen people, they add rows like these, four or five, and then they add a column. And then in the programming, the programming heading, they copy this entire programming and paste it once. Then they put strategy and then accordingly they, they put intermediate and they do apply some sort of tricks. But even then, this takes a huge amount of time. Now, how do I do this fast with Power Query? So let me show you how this is done. Let me go to Power Query. Now, it is asking you where are the data's sources. So you can pick from a file, from an Excel file or CSV. In this case, since I am already on a designated data, I might choose this. I've already created a table out of it. So hence, you see this table is disabled. It's already a table and I can also see the table tools. Now, within Power Query, I go to Excel data. So it's going to pick up this table of data. Now, generally, if you take it for the first time, it asks you whether your data is header. So the headers will appear like this ID, name, division, grade, office, etc. If instead of these headers, you have column A, B, C, D or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you may also instruct accordingly. How? You may say transform and say use first row as headers. I currently do not need this right now because I can see already the header being picked up correctly. Now. You choose the columns which you want paste below. You want it stacked one on top of each other. So I'm choosing uh, programming, pressing shift and choosing the last column. Now I go to transform and I say unpivot columns. I'm just pausing here for a moment because I want you to see this clearly. And once I do this, I click on this. In few seconds, you have your data transformed into the manner which could have taken you entire first half of your working day. This was what done in what hardly a minute or two. Plus, if you do not like this, you can undo the last steps. For example, if I click on this cross, I'll be able to go back to the previous thing. Now, once I do this, I might simply say select a cell, control A, control C. And if I go to an Excel file, I might also say file close and load to and it loads in the current workbook. It's asking me, uh, do you want to create a new worksheet? I would say yes, and let me say load. So in a new worksheet, this entire thing gets loaded. 
Now there are five attributes each for everyone and 50 employees. Hence I have 250 rows, one extra for the heading. Now when I choose this entire piece of data and I go to insert and pivot table, you'll be able to see the fascinating things I do with the pivot table. So I'm activating one option which allows me to drag the field. And once I do that, uh, let's see, I will go by the office. There aren't many offices, so let me put that office in the column field, looks better. Uh, how many attributes am I looking at? Communication, finance, and accounting, legal, programming, strategy. And against this, I put the value, which means against communication, basic expert intermediate, okay? I then put the name in the main action area, which is the value field. And now, if I just collapse this, expand, 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 and collapse entire field, okay? I'm able to see, of course, they, if there are 50 numbers getting repeated multiple times because for every skill set, there are 50 people. Now, when I try to look for communication, okay? So there are 19 people in Mumbai, 11 in Lucknow, 9 in Bangalore, 11 in New Delhi. And when I choose only the expert guys, only the expert guys, and then expand the entire thing, uh, expand, expand, expand entire collection, entire field. Yeah, based on the value, basically the attribute. Yeah, let me just go inside this one, right click. Subtotal, do you need subtotal? Maybe no, but if I just click on that and I click on this. In fact, let me remove the filters. Mm-hmm, the entire picture getting out. So you can build teams around the proximity to a particular city and based on skill sets. So let's say you want guys who are good in finance and accounting and also good at communication, fine. So finance and accounting and communication, okay, that's the how it was generated. I might go for expert level guys, expert, expert, expert. So these are the 241 people. And maybe I want to talk about all the New Delhi guys who are very good on these two domains. So I might uh, double click on this eight. And what I get, these are the people who are expert. Expert in what? Either in uh, communication and also finance and accounting. So that's how easily you can convert your 90 degree data into columnar form, which is the perfect, perfect platform for building a pivot table. See you in the next video.